Hi hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to root your Nexus 4. So uh, this is going to be on build number JOP40D. And let's see if we can get a focus on that for clarity. And I think that's good. Okay. And uh, first things first, uh, you want to go to your developer options here. And you want to make sure USB debugging is on. To enable the developer options, you want to go down to the settings about phone and you want to click uh, the build number on the very bottom seven times and that should enable it. Mine has already been enabled, so yeah, there you go. Also, uh, I've connected through USB and Windows 7 has installed the drivers uh, already, so we should be good to go from there. So it's connected. Uh, I did download and install the Nexus 4 toolkit, which will be in the link in the description. Uh, install that and continue on from there. So let's go. So on this screen you should see your device here. This is my device. If you don't see anything there that means it is not being recognized. So make sure you can see something there and uh, continue on. Okay so next up uh, we want to unlock the bootloader in order to uh, root the Nexus 4. So I'm going to hit number 3. Enter. And it says what do you want to do. I want to unlock the bootloader. So over here it says follow the instructions. You want to make sure you're in fast boot mode. To get into fast boot mode you want to hold down the power button and the volume up button when the phone is off. And once you see the Google logo appear just let go of the power button and keep holding the up button and that should work. If that doesn't work just power off the device and power it back on and you should be good to go. So as you can see I am already in fast boot mode. And uh, that's how you know you're in fast boot mode because it says it in big red letters. So I'm in fast boot mode and it's asking are you? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. So now, my phone is like, uh, are you sure you want to do this? It voids the warranty. It's a bad idea. So I'm going to say, yes, I'm sure I want to do this. So here you go. And um, it looks like that was it. <laughs> Over here it says uh, it's unlocked. If you look on the bottom, lock state unlocked. So that looks pretty successful. So okay, now that we're done with that, let's go to number four, which is the root and unroot options. Keep the phone in the fast boot mode because we're probably gonna need to do it again anyway. Over here you can install CWM. You can install uh, BusyBox, and um, yeah, you could do any of that. I'm just gonna go ahead and simply root it because. I don't think there's anything special out there for me to flash on top just yet. I will in the future though, you can bet that. So yeah, it says are you uh, in, oh by the way, make sure if you're upgraded to 4.2, you use option number 2, just saying. And uh, it says are you in fast boot mode, yes, I am. So now. My phone is restarting. We see the Google uh, logo right there. And so, oh, my sound. So, go, 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 go. Little vibration for restarting. And right there, you can see the little unlock lock, which is kind of cool. Waiting for USB debugging to be enabled. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now that we're back here, uh, you want to make sure that you uh, go back to USB debugging mode on your phone. And if you don't know how to do that, you just type, uh, you just go to about phone, go to scroll down to the build number, and hit that seven times, and that should give you the options. And you should be good to go from there if you haven't done so already. Or if you didn't know already, I should say. So what's going to happen now is it's just going to restart normally. It's not going to be rooted. It's not going to have super user privileges. And uh, just to demonstrate that, I'm going to go into the app drawer and I'm going to try running Wi-Fi Tether. You can see the super user icon there, but that's from the Play Store. Anyone could download it. You don't have to be rooted. But over here it says not rooted. So therefore, we have a ways to go. And you can see the toolkit is going to restart the phone again after pushing the super user program and privileges onto the device. So it's going to restart any minute now. And there it goes. So now when it boots up, it should be rooted and ready to go. So I'll see you guys when that happens. Okay, so now that it boots up, we should have super user privileges and you should be good to go from here. 
Alright, so it looks good here. And as you can see, we've got the Super SU. So I got Wi Fi Tether, which requires group permissions, and I thought, you know, why not just test it out? And, um, I don't have anything set up. Oh, there you go. So, see, we got the uh, super user request, and I could grant the permission. And boom, granted super user permissions. So, there's a nice little way of proving it to you guys. So, yeah, I hope this video helped. Uh, if you guys need any extra assistance, let me know, and I'll do my best to help you. Alright, bye.